Hey, this is Anthony from Resident TV. We can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Dionese Laguna Seca Evo two-piece race suit available at RevZilla.com. To my left, I have Hive is Brian wearing the Laguna Seca Evo two-piece race suit. This is the black and fluoro red colorway. Now, I will say this. It is a premium leather race suit with all of the bells and whistles we'd expect to see to come out of Italy meant to get you to the track. And the reason you would buy this two-piece race suit over the one-piece Laguna Seca Evo is because you want the flexibility. And what I mean by that, it's a little bit less of the pre-curve. It's gonna be a little bit better for taller riders that wanna stand up more straight, but you have the ability at the track to take the jacket off. There's a 360 degree zipper that allows you to remove it while keeping your pants on. Some riders love that. And again, you're not trading protection, you're not trading flexibility, but again, you're trading, it's a little bit more relaxed, it's still super premium, but you can take the jacket off. Now I am gonna call this out right out of the gates. There are some two-piece suits on the market that are set up to be a leather jacket that's aggressive with pants that add together to become a two-piece suit. And you can wear that jacket standalone. Dionese does it a little bit differently. They don't sacrifice some of their approach to how it should fit when you're on the track. So what they do, high-waisted pants and the jacket's a little bit shorter. If you remove the pants and Ryan had a pair of jeans on, this jacket would be too short to just ride on the street. Keep that in mind, guys. That's a big differentiating factor here because you're investing in a premium suit for the flexibility factor, not for the fact that you want to have a jacket that you can wear on its own and a pair of pants when you go to the track. Keep that in mind. Four colors available. You're looking north of that thousand dollar range. I don't call this entry level at all. This is premium. The Laguna Seca Evo race suit. The one piece is one of the best selling suits of all time at RevZilla.com and for the most part they didn't change a whole lot. Now I'm going to tell you quickly what they changed and then I'm going to walk through Brian's sizing. Quick changes, right? So it's obviously two piece, can't be worn standalone. When I show you the back, it's going to be a sport hump versus a race hump. The internal liner is not going to be removable. It's a fixed liner, but they gave you bubble, 3D bubble in the back. It creates that microclimate, which is a really nice touch. And you're going to see some nuances as I walk through it. They changed slightly some of the elastication scheme. So the elastication scheme around the knees is a little bit different. And when we get to the back, it's going to be a little bit different as well. So again, you're really not sacrificing anything. They're just making some tweaks to configure it for that two-piece option. Now, Hive is Brian to my left. Oh, hello, Hive is Brian. You're so visible. Six foot, 195, 42 inch chest, wearing a size 52. You buy it as a set, 52 in the jacket, fits him spot on. And again, look at the aggressive pre-shape. It's a medium aggressive race pre-shape. Much more aggressive than what I would call sport, but it's not as aggressive as something like the Aspide or when you go up the Dionese food chain into that D-skin leather, into those $2,000 suits, which are really only comfortable when you are in the tuck on the bike. Keep that in mind. And remember, we're going to ship for free if you're concerned about sizing. And I'd love to hear your gut reaction. Click right there, follow the finger, revzilla.com our YouTube channel, leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback by subscribing to us and following us on there. Now, back into the suit itself. Premium Italian leather throughout. We talked about the armor configuration. It's proprietary Dionese armor, so you're gonna get proprietary armor. It's the race style armor in the elbow all the way down the forearm. The shoulders are gonna have internal armor as well as a co-injected shoulder with an aluminum hard part. Notice how it ties in with the S1 stretch panel that flow air. They also allow it to move with you. You have some of these temper foam panels. You can even see along the top here, they have some more elasticated S1 panel that kind of ties it together and it's gonna allow it to stretch with you. Now, moving down, again, follow the S1 stretch panel that's gonna tie in along the crotch there, give you range of motion. Moving into the knee, it's that Dionese catcher style knee five armor system. Big knee cup goes all the way down, ties in with the slider, gives you great shin protection. And if you work your way all the way to the bottom, you're gonna see that he's wearing TR Course Inns. This, the pants on this suit are set up for the in boots. So that's gonna be your TR Course In boot that slides on the inside and connects via Velcro. You have that option, or you could wear a regular old boot that would go on the outside as well. Dynasty gives you that dual stage zipper in the back. Now turn the face away from me, Brian. Notice the side profile, microelastication on the back of the arm. You're noticing some reflectivity they add here on the two-piece side, knowing that a lot of times two-piece guys will ride them as a two-piece suit on the street. A lot of guys in Europe do that. They want the safety factor. You also have the Demon Head logo with some light up, some light up reflectivity too. Notice if you move down, elastication under the arm, microelastication under the arm. It doesn't connect with the yoke here. That's different than the one-piece suit, but again, that's how they configured it for the two-piece option. Dionese logo, and if you move down along the backside of the ankle and the back of the leg, notice there's dual zipper. We have the fur zipper unzipped because it gives you extra volume to tie in with that tier course in boot. And then Brian turned completely backwards for me. If Brian turns backwards, you're going to see that there's a second zipper which is closed and reinforced because this whole suit is CE level two rated, and that's gonna give you the entry and exit point. Notice. S1 panel, leather on the back, expansion panel right there, to your course in. Now working your way back up, if I'm gonna nitpick the suit, there's no tailbone protection, but there is a dual seat of leather. I would have liked to see tailbone protection. And here's one of the things I absolutely love about this suit. They've just done so well. 
This elasticated yoke, which is the classic position for a race suit, it's one of the reasons why they do that high waist, this is actually containing the 360 degree zipper and it's covered. Notice this massive YKK zip right there, but when you have it on, it looks like it's a one piece suit. You're not sacrificing any of that style. Dianese thinks so much about design and about the way the aesthetic will look and be functional and be protective at the same time. I love that they did it. That's one of the trade offs because that means that the way that that's designed gives you a shorter jacket. You can't wear it on the street by itself, but again, it's a really nice touch. And remember what I did say it's more of a sports style hump. The Laguna Seca Evo race suit one piece is going to have more of a GP style hump. Keep that in mind. And notice the low profile at the top of the neck, allowing for breathability some airflow. Again, it's S1 stretch. It's not going to get in the way of your helmet. Notice too, they even the accents here in the floral on the sides. And one of the things I didn't talk about, come back around to the front for me there, Brian. I actually quite, I missed it. There's actually going to be a zipped vent right here under the arm. It's going to allow you to get a little bit of airflow right there. And again, thinking this, that a lot of times in Europe, guys wear a two-piece suit on the street. They want to get a little bit of airflow in it. Now, Brian, open it up for me and show the guts really quickly. Remember, non-removable liner. The inside of this is nanofill, so it's that premium Dianese liner. But again, the back area is going to have that 3D bubble liner, which is that great microclimate ability. Notice the way that it's, it's done down here. Notice there's my 360 degree zipper. I'm going to open it up. There's my nano feel. It does have some basic pockets, basic up here along the collar. And I do want to talk about the back protection. So whenever you're wearing a race suit to the track, you would wear a standalone back protector from Dianese. It could be the Manus, it could be the Parashina. It's going to be that CE level two back protector that you'd put on. There is no pocket to insert a wave or a shield. There's no way to add a back protector that sits along with the jacket because remember, you're never wearing that jacket standalone. Keep that in mind. So remember the next step in your journey is to read other rider reviews to help you further compare and contrast the two-piece versus the one-piece suit, but really lock on and see if the Dianese Laguna Seca Evo CE2 rated suit is going to be the right suit for you. Remember, it's a big investment, but it's an heirloom product. It's meant to protect you and it's meant to last. And the attention to detail is phenomenal. Keep in mind also, we're going to ship for free. And if you want to talk to a gear geek, give us a call. See us at RevZilla.com or 877 792 9455 Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown of the new Dianese Laguna Seca Evo two-piece suit available at RevZilla.com. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.